Hey guys, it's your boy and I'm on the welcome once again to this channel. In this video, we'll be talking about public finance and the role it plays, you know, in our society. You know, as we all know, public finance you know, is a branch of economy that studies the financial activities of government at various levels, including the central, the state, and the local governments. It encompasses, you know, the study of how government raises revenue, allocates resources, and manage expenditure to achieve, you know, economic and social, you know, objectives. Now, what are the components you know, of public finance? Now, the first we talk about revenue. Now, public finance or public revenue refers to the fund that the government collects you know, to finance their activities. And we know the primary source of public revenue includes taxation, fees, fines, and grants. And of which taxation, we have the income taxes, state tax, property tax, and corporate taxes are crucial aspect of public finance. Which is why the government in country in most countries are so much you know emphatic on collecting taxes, in increasing fines and fees and also grants that they get as part of their revenue. And also in terms of taxation, you know, the income tax where you have to pay tax for the job you do, the sales tax, whatever you are selling has its own value added tax, which is the VAT. We also have the property tax whereby certain countries, not all countries, you know, certain countries pay taxes based on the properties they have and the properties they should let and rent out for public use. And also we have corporate taxes, we have businesses, you know, they pay their taxes. And all these put together are crucial aspects, you know, of public revenue. So another key component of public finance, we have the expenditure. You know, government spend revenue on various goods and services. You know, public goods and services includes, you know, infrastructure, education and health care and we also have one that is also crucial transfer payments which is you know social security and welfare you know this is one crucial concept of public finance in the public sector which are strictly organized by government and government officials you know transfer payments that has to do with social security and welfare you know of the people another component of public finance we also have you know interest and debts Government borrow money through debt instruments, you know, such as government bonds, where government quarterly, you know, they issue out bonds to the public in order to raise finance, you know, to boost up key infrastructure areas, you know, in the economy. Because they use it to finance their activities. So another component, you know, of public finance that we should understand and know is, you know, the fiscal policy. You know, government uses fiscal policy tools, you know, including taxation, government spending interest rates and all of that to achieve macroeconomic objectives you know such as promoting economic growth stability stabilizing the economy and reducing you know inequality in the society so the fiscal policy of every government you know touches these various aspects when it comes to you know taxation how tax you know will be managed and the introduction of various taxes be it being increased or reduced and government spending, either the government is cutting the spending, increasing the spending, all this in order to promote, you know, economic stability and reducing the inequalities in the society. So when there are so much inequality in the society, the government comes with certain fiscal policies in order, you know, to redistribute this wealth so that the inequality can be reduced. Now we also have some, you know, theories or principles and theories you know, of public finance. We also have, you know, the Adam Smith canons of taxation. You know, Smith works emphasize on equality, certainty, convenience, and economy as a criteria for taxation. I'll repeat again. Adam Smith canon of taxation emphasize on e equality, certainty, convenience, and economy as a criteria for taxation. So, in the research, what does that tell us? Which means, without these concepts, taxation shouldn't be in place. Because these are criteria for taxation. Equality. Certainty. So, if you are taxing me, there need to be a certainty of what, you know, you are using my tax to do. And if you are taxing me, there needs to be a form of equality in the sight of the law. And also convenience. So, just take a look at your government and see if these criteria are there. 
then you know you are taxed properly or you are not taxed properly. When you discover that you know you get the dividends of whatever you are paying taxes on, these are criteria for more taxes. And also, we also have the Thomas Robert Matthews views. You know, he believed that tax financed public works would be more effective if they create greater demand for labor and commodities. So when these tax finance public works are more effective if it can create you no know, greater demand for labor and commodities. And all this boils down to how the government utilize you know, this tax finance you know, to improve the public works. That way, if we increase the demand of labor and commodities, let's take for instance building of roads, building of schools, because when you build the road, you know, it increases demand for labor and commodities because why goods and services will move to and fro at an easy pace. You know, increasing revenue not only for the government but also for individuals. We also have schools, hospitals, all these are infrastructures that you know create greater demand for labor and commodities when you know tax finance is put to public use. And there's also a theory that needs to be looked at as well when it comes to you know this overall public finance. We have the public choice theory. Now this theory views government as a self interested actor, you know, making decisions based on political rather than economic consideration. Now this has been going on in our society now, in various countries, whereby, you know, government is only self interested, you know, making decisions based on political factors rather than economic consideration. So when this public choice theory comes in place, you know, it displays the concept and the real intention of government office holders. If truly they make decisions based on you know their political view rather than economic consideration for the betterment of lives and properties of the citizens in that particular country. Now what are the importance you know this public finance? You know sometimes so many people fail to understand that you know the utilization of public finance is very crucial to the sustainability of the citizens. So if public finance is not properly managed, it can affect individuals privately and also in their personal finance. Because the number one concept whereby public finance is important is economic growth. Because public finance plays a crucial role in promoting economic growth by investing in infrastructure, education, and research. So public finance plays a very crucial role you know, in promoting economic growth. Because when there is investment in infrastructures, in education, and other vital research that is beneficial to the society, then the economic growth. That is one crucial importance of you know, public finance. 